All right, YouTube. Received a package today from 4th Gen Ram Electronics. Um, his store is on Facebook. Anyway, we're going to be switching from the 4-speed to the 7-speed bezel. The RA3 to the 8.4-inch touchscreen. And adding the aux panel. So, get out to the truck and we'll get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is take this little, just use your finger now, maybe, take this out, then up top there's two T20s that need to be removed, I'm going to go ahead and remove those and I'll be right back. Okay, with those removed, you're just going to give this a little, a little yank. like that and then we can you'll need to reach behind here and unclip all of your wiring harnesses they all have little tabs on them and once you get all those out it will come right out okay what we need to do is take out these four seven millimeter bolts and then you'll be able to disconnect the wiring harness from the back of the old radio. Okay, here we go. So, on the back of the radio, there's the clip here. You just push the tab in and pull up the lever. And once the lever is up, that'll pop right out. And then these three. Here. That, but the radio is now out. And we will go from here. Okay, we brought it inside. But you're going to need to take all the screws out from around the bezel all the way around to get that out okay there's 11 of the screws one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and the bezel should come right out of there. Okay, so in my case, I'm changing the auxiliary panel. So I took out the four bolts around there and you just pry these back and the panel will pop right out. Then I need to save my trailer um, brake controller. So you see there's four little nubs right there. You just pry that up and that pops right out. Okay, so we're kind of ready to put it back. Have my new panel from Gen 4 or fourth gen ram electronics there's the new one see the all of the auxiliary switches on the bottom and the old one on the bottom it had nothing so we'll just snap that right back into place that's all there is to it put the screws back in okay there's the old bezel out and the new bezel as you can see um, the new bezel has the knobs for the radio, um, as well as seven feed span, seven speed fan control. The old one was four. Um, I know if you get this thing from infotainment, uh, they do a four speed bezel and put a volume knob right here, but it looks really cheap and hokey. Um, 
the fourth gen Ram Electronics, he uh, he rewires everything um, with a conversion in the modules to switch to the seven speed fan control um, as well as wiring harnesses. Um, this gives you a more factory look than the old bezel with a knob stuff right there. Um, anyway, we'll put this in. So we'll take our bezel and it just kind of hooks in from the top, get it in the right spot and falls right in. And we'll turn her over and put the 13 screws back in and don't forget about these two. I missed those two on the when I was taking the old one out. Um, but anyway, there should be 13 in total around there. Um, put them in and I'll get right back with you. Okay, and there's the bezel installed and uh, pretty much ready to go um, for the radio part anyway. And there we are with the new aux button. Um, one thing I want to say about 4th Gen ram electronics on facebook is that um one thing that's nice is that he uses all oem uh, mopar bezels and and panels and parts um so this will give you the exact original look like your truck you know came from day one with this um great job and the wiring harnesses um all braided very well done um pretty much ready to go. He does a great job on those. Be very careful when prying that out. After I got the screwdriver in there a little bit, I pried this way, not against the, the dash so that you don't mark it up. And then once it's bad, it just pops right off. Um, you might have to peel the, let's see. Yeah, it just comes right out of there. The slotted screws, this is where your new blower control will mount in. Those slotted screws right there. You'll have to take the carpet out from underneath the dash panel. It's just these these three you know, Christmas tree type clips. Which are kind of a pain in the butt, but they do come out. I'm going to be able to see this, but we need to remove this clip here which goes into the blower motor um, same as every other clip on these things there's a tab on the back and uh, it'll come out do is take a little screwdriver or something and push these two red connectors up that releases the lock in there and then you're going to take a small screwdriver reach inside there and and gently unclip that and it'll pull right out okay folks we've removed that pin number seven and i taped it up and then slid the new wire for the new wiring harness in there and we should be ready to go on that piece okay we've now put them back together and um push the Christmas tree connector back into the pillar there so that piece of it's finished hey guys um, now we're going to take the ring connector and we're going to if you look up here and take that bolt out and ground it right there okay what we're going to do next here is remove the old resistor there's two Phillips head screws in there 
and that'll come out and then we're gonna bolt the new resistor right up in there same spot okay it's a lot easier to get the resistor up in there if you take the cover off this panel here it just snaps off and snaps right back on okay and then we're just gonna um, plug the new cable into the new resistor and the new cable into the blower motor and then you're gonna just want to tape these up excuse me tape these two up and uh, tuck them up somewhere out of the way those are the old wires in case you ever wanted to revert back they're still there okay so I took the radio bezel or the bezel that goes up to the the or I'm sorry the harness that goes up to the bezel and I've routed it through out to here okay and then you have one single small wire off of the resistor bezel or the resistor harness that's going to plug into that bezel harness right there and then we are going to mount the new control box into these slotted tabs and then this wire that goes up to the bezel will plug into that and that's really it um, just put everything back together tidy up your wires and you're ready to put your um, bezel back in okay it looks like it's going to restart here in a few minutes but this is everything back together and then I've already switched out to the a better dash a few months ago but um, everything seemed to work um, looking good so all back together really this should only take you probably about a half hour to 45 minutes um, obviously with filming it took me about an hour and 15 minutes anyway thanks for watching